And the first thing coming new for PHP 8.3 is this thing called read-only amendments, okay? And I feel like while this new feature is coming for PHP 8.3, I feel this is more like a fix, something that has been fixed from the previous versions, and I can show you clearly the problem. So I'm gonna jump into my Sublime text, okay? And I obviously have this class person right here. And something I can do with PHP is that I can simply go go here and I can type, type something like this, okay? The person B will be a clone of the person A and the person C will be a clone of the person A again. Now, by the way, cloning objects is already something you would probably don't probably not do in regular PHP code or regular applications, you know? Uh, but anyway, it was something fixed when cloning uh, read-only classes or read-only objects, especially deep cloning. But I'm gonna show you a clear example about what's going wrong and how PHP 8.3 fixed that issue, okay? So let's go to our person class once again, and let's just basically add something, call it uh, a date time, okay? A date time with a birth date, just like that. Now, uh, this birth date will, um, will be obviously, uh, obviously the, the birth date of the person, right? And something I could do here is just bar dump for example, uh, the birth date of, of the person B, but also the birth date of the person C. And at the moment, obviously, uh, this um, hopefully will be kind of the same. Uh, we have an issue here saying that we are passing only one object, one, per one parameter here, and this requires two. So let's just basically type new date time here as well, clear our terminal and run PHP. Uh, index PHP again, uh, we are getting on the var dump result the entire representation of the object. We obviously don't want to do this, so I can type something like format, just basically format this with a year, month, and date. And let's do the same for the second objects just below. Clear our terminal and run PHP index to see the results. And I have obviously that the birth date of the person B um, is 10 October, but also for the person C is 10 October. Now, if I go, and this is the real thing, pay attention, if I go here to the person B and I just access to the birth date, I, um, I can do something like a little bit weird, which is set date to a different date, okay? And this is technically allowed because, I mean, uh, I'm changing the birth date of the person B, okay? However, the results are kind of unexpected because the results is that while I'm changing the date for the person B, the person C is also getting the new date, okay? So changing the date for the person B is also changing the date for the person C. And that's because while we are cloning the person object, we are still referring the same uh, birth date, date time, object behind the scenes. So we are cloning the person, but not deep cloning the person um, to actually also clone the date. Now, now, typically people would solve stuff like this using something like a public function with a clone, which is something really magical from PHP. And then they would instruct the person uh, class how exactly you can clone the birth date. And that would be very simple. You would do something like this birth date equals to clone um, the current birth date. And if I do this, now I'm going to show you this stuff with PHP 8.2. So I'm going to just basically run this script uh, to basically change PHP versions um, in my machine. If I write, if I type PHP-V, you can see that now I'm using PHP 8.2. Now, if I run this code, you will see that PHP will start to complain because it tells me that on the clone magic method, I cannot modify the birth date. Okay, so I cannot solve my problem of deep cloning directly on my magic clone method. So what PHP 8.3 introduced, and I do understand that this stuff is a little bit hard to understand because cloning is something typically not done in an application development. However, if I now move to PHP 8.3, and you can see that I'm PHP 8.3, and if I run this code, 
you get to see that now my code is working as expected, meaning that setting the date for the object B is not changing the date for the object C, which is pretty cool. And that is thanks to the fact that now on my magic method clone, I can finally change read-only properties. What do you guys think about this? I do understand that this stuff, I mean, it's kind of deep level, you know? Typically in application development, you don't need to do this kind of stuff uh, of working with clones to begin with. However, um, I do understand why they needed to fix this, right? Um, obviously in PHP, especially in package development, you do need to clone objects sometimes. And the fact that you couldn't use uh, the, um, the underscore underscore clone to specify how to deep level, how to, sp how to specify the deep level nesting uh, of cloning, it's pretty cool that now you can actually do those stuffs again, back again with read-only properties. So let me know what you think about this new amendment.